not much of a meal there. Yeah, nothing cold or crunchy. Why, you want a diet? Because it hurts, dipshit. Do I look fat to you? Mm. God damn it. Oh, suddenly, ice cream croutons. It's like getting your gums raked. The fuck is that? They're probably recessive. My old man had bad gums. When's the last time you got a cleaning? I don't know, five or six years. I hate the fucking dentist. Don't fuck around with your mouth. My old man didn't deal. His mouth ended up a train wreck. I was you, I'd see Dr. Farage. You don't want to be slurping turkey milkshakes in middle age. Farage? I don't want some sand niggers paws probing my mouth. You wear gloves now, you know, since AIDS came along. Oh. Jesus, how long has it really been? Well, aside from some cavities, you can see that 10 and 11 show significant recession in the gums. Meaning what? Meaning that surgery is recommended, and I would say sooner rather than later. What kind of fucking surgery? Well, you have two choices. The conventional method is to take palatal tissue from the roof of your mouth and graft it to your gums. Oh, shit. That sounds fucking painful. It is painful. The alternative is an acellular dermal graft, where we use the gum tissue from a cadaver. You're kidding. Some dead person's fucking gums in my mouth? Well, you can think of it as a organ donation. Sounds fucking creepy. Well, the use of your own fucking tissue would require a longer, a more painful period of fucking recovery. In the end, your fucking gums would be healthy either fucking way. Are you mocking me, Farage? Fuck no. I don't like your third world bullshit attitude. And whatever I decide, Gunga, I gotta think about needles. Any anesthesia, whatever, I want gas first. My pleasure, Sahib. Oh, and one more thing. Being that I'm Aryan and you're camel shit, I'd appreciate if you wore two pairs of those plastic gloves. You know, the less contact, the better. Now you see why I hate the dentist? It's not their fault, Robson. You wait years between cleanings. You never floss. You brush your teeth the way you scratch your scrotum. I'm considering the acellular thing. All right, which one's that? It's like organ donation. If I need a liver, the donor be dead, right? True, but you don't need a liver. We don't see the liver. Oh, well, it said it's like a small piece of tissue. It's yeah. like right here. All right, yeah. can we just talk about something else, please? Fuck it. I'm going graveyard gums. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, hey, what's up, Doc? Oh, hey, how's this stuff legal? You know what kind of killing you'd make? Selling it to all the drug fiends in Oz? They may have tits, but <laughs> you got pussy. What is it with you Nazis and gas? <laughs> oh, fuck you! <laughs> hey, I thought I said to wear two pairs of gloves. Open wide. Uh, no, let me have some more gas. Don't need more Put gas, wearing okay? off. Open wide. Uh, uh, you know, with all your warped ideology, I bet you never gave much thought to why Adolf was so pissed off at the Jews. You know, one theory is that he was traumatized by the death of his mother. She died of breast cancer, and she was in the care of a Jewish physician. And so, of course, the repressed hatred erupted itself into the Holocaust. Now, another theory is that Hitler's father was the illegitimate son of a German woman and some obscure Jewish man. And so Hitler himself had impure blood. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 now, now, now don't make me slip, because if I do, we are both in trouble. Hmm? You know, it's amazing. We don't even know where these gums come from. I mean, this could be the gums of a kike or a speak. Or even a fagot. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you could be getting the beautiful gums of a big black nigger. Huh?